Hello KLS crew and welcome back to another Fortnite Battle Royale video. In this video we will be looking at the week 2 challenges for season 9. Before we start, please note that obviously my voice is a robotic voice that was sampled from a text to speech software, so there may be mispronunciations or spelling errors. Please try to excuse these. Just so you know, since the start of Season 8 you could put challenges as your party assists so you can complete challenges with players in your lobby so if you struggle with one, set it as your party assist and you can complete it with other players in your lobby. Let's start by looking at an overview of the challenges before we go into the details. There are three challenges you can do if you don't have the paid battle pass. The first challenge of the three unpaid battle pass challenges is, Launch off of air vents in different matches and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you are at tier 100. The second challenge is a stage challenge and the first stage out of 5 is, land at snobby shores and is worth 1 battle star or 100 XP if you are at tier 100. The second out of the 5 stages for the second challenge is, land at fatal fields and is worth 1 battle star or 100 XP if you are at tier 100. The third out of the five stages for the second challenge is, land at sunny steps and is worth one battle star or 100 XP if you are at tier 100. The fourth out of the five stages for the second challenge is, land at dusty divot and is worth one battle star or 100 XP if you are at tier 100. The final stage for the second challenge is, land at happy hamlet and is worth one battle star or 100 XP if you are at tier 100. The third challenge is, eliminate opponents in sunny steps or shifty shafts and is worth 10 battle stars or 1000 XP if you are at tier 100. The next four challenges can only be done by players who have bought the paid battle pass. The fourth challenge is, deal damage with pistols to opponents and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you are at tier 100. The fifth challenge is, visit an oversized phone, a big piano, and a giant dancing fish trophy and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you are at tier 100. The sixth challenge is, search a chest in different named locations in a single match and is worth 10 battle stars or 1000 XP if you are at tier 100. The seventh and final challenge is a stage challenge and the first stage out of three, eliminate an opponent from at least 50 meters away and is with 3 battle stars or 300 XP if you are at tier 100. The second stage out of 3 for the final challenge of week 2 is, eliminate an opponent from at least 75 meters away and is worth 3 battle stars or 300 XP if you are at tier 100. The final stage for the final chow leg of week 2 is, Eliminate an opponent from at least 100 meters away and is worth 4 battle stars or 400 XP if you are at tier 100. Unfortunately, it does not look like they are doing a secret banner every other week. The secret battle stars do still exist however and we will be sure to put the location of that in our videos. Now let's go into the details of the challenges for this week. The first challenge is... Launch off of air vents in different matches and if you do this in 5 different matches you can get 5 battle stars or 500 XP. The locations of most of the air vents is on top of the new locations that look like sky bases. Simply land on top of one of these and use the air vent on top of it. Also there are some in Neo Tilted so if you want you could land there to get some. The second challenge is a stage challenge and the first stage out of 5 is land at snobby shores and if you land there you can get one battle star or 100 xp the second out of the five stages for the second challenge is land at fatal fields and if you land there you can get one battle star or 100 xp if you are at tier 100 the third out of the five stages for the second challenge is land at sunny steps and if you land there you can get one battle star or 100 xp if you are at tier 100 the fourth out of the five stages for the second challenge is, land at Dusty Divot and if you land there you can get one battle star or 100 XP if you are at tier 100. The final stage for the second challenge is, 
land at Happy Hamlet and if you land there you can get 1 battle star or 100 XP if you are at tier 100. This is very easy as all you have to do is land at the location you need to go to if you somehow miss it or forget to go there, you could try and just walk there but that might not count if so, you could find redeploy and redeploy into the location you need to land at which could also work. The third challenge is, eliminate opponents in sun steps or shifty shafts and if you eliminate 3 opponents in these location you can get 10 battle stars or 1000 xp if you are at tier 100. Go to sunny steps as there is another challenge there so other players will go there making it easy to get kills. The fourth challenge is, Deal damage with pistols to opponents and if you deal 500 damage with pistols you can get 5 battle stars or 500 XP. For this challenge you can only use the following Common and uncommon pistol Rare and epic dual pistols Epic and legendary hand cannons and and possible the common and uncommon flint knock pistol you do need to come across these weapons obviously but when you do be sure to carry them you could try team rumble as you have many resp ons if you still need help you could go into duos or squads and when you knock someone make sure to finish them with one of the previous weapons the fifth challenge is visit an oversized phone a big piano and a giant dancing fish trophy and if you visit all of those locations you can get 5 battle stars or 500 xp. The location of the oversized phone could be in one of two locations the first location you can try is southwest of fatal fields the second location you should try is northeast of the block. The challenge could count for either one. The location of the big piano is just southeast of lonely lodge. The location of the giant dancing fish trophy is on top of the small house in between Mega Mall, Dusty Divot and Salty Springs. Simply just visit this locations and you should be able to get this challenge done. The sixth challenge is, search a chest in different named locations in a single match and if you search a chest in three different named locations you can get 10 battle stars or 1000 XP. A good route to go is land at Pleasant Park and then make your way to Haunted Hills and then you could also go to Junk Junction to collect your third chest. These locations are the closest locations in the map so it would be a good idea to go thus way you could also get an vehicle at the outpost on the mountain near Pleasant Park. The final challenge for week 2 is another stage challenge and the first stage out of 3 is Eliminate an opponent from at least 50 meters away and if you get an elimination 50 meters away you can get 3 battle stars or 300 XP. The second stage out of 3 for the final challenge of week 2 is, Eliminate an opponent from at least 75 meters away and if you get an elimination from 75 meters away you can get 3 battle stars or 300 XP. The final stage for the final challenge of week 2 is, Eliminate an opponent from at least 100 meters away and if you get an elimination from 100 meters away you can get 4 battle stars or 400 XP. A sniper would be the best for at least the 100 meters one but you could do this with a scoped assault rifle or something like that. Team rumble would also be good for this because you respawn giving you multiple chances. And that is all the challenges for week 2. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy or this guide helped you with your weekly challenge, be sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Also feel free to leave a comment and we will read all of them. Also, we are desperate to do other videos like compilations so if you want your Fortnite clips in one of our videos then check the description on how to do it. Turn notifications on as we upload these videos every week. Once again, Thanks for watching. Bye.